we have seen also other interesting clouds from space, and Patrick So is going to tell you all about one that recently they did a little bit of work on and kind of learned a lot about it. Patrick, what's this other strange cloud in Mars's atmosphere? All right, well, let's get to the picture of this strange cloud. It appears on uh, Mars as a streak and has been seen by various auto uh, missions to planet Mars. In fact, uh, since uh, Viking 1 back in 1976, produced images of this kind of cloud that is very long and very unusual for Mars. Uh, we've seen earlier that uh, when David was showing those other clouds, usually our normal clouds are very thin and uh, cirrus-like. But what is this? And uh, It has baffled scientists for uh, many decades. Um, Okay, so as you can see in this view, we've named the features on Mars, and in particular, uh, this cloud is close to an ancient volcano called uh, Arcea Mons. So, so this is a sign that that volcano is erupting. Tell us all now, Patrick, right? Yes, <laughs> this, this has been a... Uh, so this is why scientists are baffled, because they, they think, well, is this an active volcano that's actually uh, ejecting a vapor, smoke, or or some uh, material into the atmosphere and we're sealing the tra uh, trailing edge. Uh, but actually uh, uh, just a recent paper uh, has kind of demystified what this uh, feature actually is. And uh, we're gonna go to the next slide where we're gonna show you a whole bunch of information. And so we're gonna break this down for you because it, it looks complicated. But the paper kind of explained what the origin of this long trail plume cloud is on Mars. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, break these sections down here in this uh, image. First of all, um, what's happening is that the wind of Mars is actually blowing against uh, this uh, volcano and the air is on Mars, even though it's 1%, is forced up rapidly to a height of roughly about uh, 28 miles, which is about four times higher than the jet airliner at altitude here on Earth. And that air actually contains moisture, it contains water vapor. And that water vapor being forced up to the colder regions of Mars's atmosphere, uh, freezes out and condenses, and you get that uh, cloud that you see. And what we see here in the next image is kind of the structure of the cloud. It forms a head, and then there's this long trail uh, that's uh, roughly about a thousand miles in length. The uh, width of the of the uh, cloud itself is uh, roughly about uh, 75 miles uh, across. Um, how it forms is very interesting. Uh, below here, we see a timeline. And uh, we're gonna start with the first uh, rectangle there. The cloud actually starts as a kind of a, like a circular feature uh, just before sunrise. And these uh, times here are Martian times. So just before sunrise, roughly about 5 a.m. And then two hours later, it grows um, into the, it grows the tail. And uh, this tail actually grows uh, very quickly. It speeds up from the origin where the head is at roughly a speed of about um, 300 miles an hour. So that's how quickly it grows. And then later in the day, the cloud is, uh, has become its full length. And, but by the afternoon time, as the sun uh, warms up the uh, surface of Mars and warms up the atmosphere, uh, those uh, ice crystals, which is what this cloud is made of, uh, be begins to dissipate and uh, become water vapor again and uh, becomes invisible. Now, the cloud itself was uh, observed recently uh, by uh, Mars Express. And in this next image, we're going to look at uh, observations made by Mars Express back in uh, 2018. And you can see how this cloud um, evolves. Uh, here we're seeing the blue line, which uh, represents the terminator of Mars, which divides the night and day of Mars. And there's early morning, and you can see, see how it grows during the day, and the cloud kind of wavers uh, off to the west of uh, Arcea Mons, and then eventually uh, dissipates. So in this image, uh, we can see the full extent of this strange-looking cloud. It's not from a volcanic eruption. These, these volcanoes have been extinct for uh, billions of years. But what we're seeing is a basically an orographic cloud where air is forced up in the air and uh, uh, kind of freezes and then trails away from the uh, westward side of the volcano. One of the interesting things is that understanding uh, how this cloud forms uh, gives us a model of, uh, of Mars's atmosphere and its dynamics. And also can, we can compare that to the Earth's atmosphere as, as well. And it proves our 
models of climatic conditions um, on both Mars and, uh, and the Earth. So this is very great uh, research and uh, solves the mystery of this uh, cloud that's formed on Mars. Yeah, well, thank you so much for that, Patrick. Uh, again, a wonderful feature on an interesting cloud, but this one in Mars's skies.